right, begin. What's going on, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys woke up happy and healthy this morning. That's the most important thing. Now, before I go any further, I want to ask you guys a favor. If you don't mind, go ahead and punch that like button and also smash that share button so we can get this channel recognized, you dig? And also, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and give your boy a follow at TV. That's a for sure way that we can stay connected, all right? Now, with that said, let's go ahead and get down to business. And I want to talk about this Kanye West situation, guys. So if you don't know, right, it's being reported that Kanye West is allegedly going around spreading the rumor that Kim Kardashian's new boy toy, Pete, actually has something that rhymes with getting paid, okay? So I'm paraphrasing here. I'm pretty sure that you guys can read between the lines. So Kanye West has stooped so low you know, to allegedly go out here and put these rumors out here about this man due to the fact that he can't stand the fact that Kim has moved on and Kanye has been on record stating how much he won his wife back. But this is crossing the line if this is actually true. Now, DJ Academics is the one that put this out here. So guys, I want you to take a listen to what DJ Academics had to say about the situation and then I'll be back. Wait, yo, this is real talk. Kanye's been telling anybody within an earshot of himself how he could. He's trying to spread a rumor that Pete Davidson has. This, I'm telling you, this is a fact. I've heard this from eight people. He's telling everybody. He, I'm telling you, this is a fact. Bruh, if you got to spread a rumor that the and your wife got, it's my like, bro, like, you burnt out, bro. Wrap it up. It's over. Wow. Just wow, y'all. Tasha K 20.0, right? You know, people are going to get enough of just making up rumors about people. Now, this is all alleged, and this is what DJ Academics is saying that Kanye West is going telling people, right? And so, this is the thing. Kanye West has moved on with Julia Fox. Kim Kardashian has seemed to move on with Pete. Kim Kardashian and Pete met in October when she did a skit on, I believe, SNL, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, they hit it off. And they've been inseparable ever since. Now, I will admit, he is funny looking, but Kanye West is a basket case. So this guy probably makes Kim feel good, makes Kim feel whole. You know, it's been a long time, probably since Kim and Kanye West has been intimate due to his antics when he was running for president and things of that nature. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm extremely sick of Kanye West. I really am. It's like every time you turn around, this brother is always doing something. He's always saying something. He keeps himself in the news and we don't care. We really don't care about Kanye West. You know, he's left our community a long time ago, in my estimation, with his political stance. He has a right to believe in what he believes in. But you know what? I don't parrot that same message. I don't believe in his ideology. So me and him have nothing in common and i believe i can speak for a plethora of people that have the same hue as me in that regard and so the reason why i decided to discuss this topic is because we just saw what happened to tasha k with her alleging well she didn't allege anything she blatantly said that cardi b had a medical issue now kanye west is worth billions of dollars or at least a billion so if this comes out to be true it's in pete's right to sue kanye for spreading misinformation about his health now kanye has been going after pete for quite some time and he just recently made some type of diss track i did post a snippet on my instagram account but i can't post it here due to copyright issues but kanye says something to the effect that god saved him from that crash just so he could beat pete davidson and so basically you know like kanye has been you know sending jabs here and there towards pete davidson but pete davidson has not responded now he did get security and things of that nature because of the potential you know running that him and kanye could have now, one thing is interesting is that Kim says that she's moving on, she's separated, but she hasn't dropped West from her name. Now, my guess is, is that Kim could be potentially waiting for their divorce to become finalized, but something tells me deep down on the inside that somehow in some way that Kim and Kanye will end up back together. Now, I could be wrong, but I just have this feeling in my gut that their marriage is not going to be completely over and they're both just going through a phase. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this to rest and move on to the next story. Four, three, 
Now, there are reports that Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenneth Petty are being sued by a security guard from Germany. Now, fun fact, a lot of people were jumping up in glee stating that Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty were victorious in getting Jennifer Hugh to drop her case. But the thing about that is, is that Jennifer Hugh did not drop her case. She dropped it in the state of New York only to move the case to New York so she can file a new lawsuit in the state of California where Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty currently reside. Now, again, we have another lawsuit. This guy from Germany is claiming that Nicki Minaj threw a shoe at him, that Kenneth Petty actually put paws on him. So let's get down to the nitty gritty and read what the hell they're saying that went on in Germany between both parties. So it says here, the security head writes in his filing that the hit maker became incensed after a female security guard allowed a male to get on stage while she was performing. He alleges that Nicki Minaj berated the guard after the performance and he called her a blank blank during the tirade, all while recording her own outburst on her phone. The guard was driven to tears from Minaj's shouting, so Wyden Muller says he stepped in to discuss the incident with her. She says, who do you think you are? He claims she yelled before allegedly throwing her shoe at him. What are you... He says the monster rapper missed him, but he wasn't as lucky when he got called back to her dressing room to speak to her again. Whitey Muller claims that while Minaj began criticizing him again, Kenneth surprised him by putting paws on him and his jaw. The guard writes that the damage was extensive and he claims he has so far had eight surgeries to repair the damage to his jaw which involved inserting five plates into his face. He also claims he will require an additional six surgeries to completely fix the damage from the assault. White and Muller's lawsuit targets both Minaj and Petty, and he accuses the occasional singer of provoking the AA. He's suing the two for damages and is looking to have them pay his extensive medical bills. All right, so you guys heard that, and I understand where Nikki is coming from. The security guard's job is to prevent the fans from jumping on stage because you never know the intentions of the fans when they come on stage. Now, what's interesting is the fact that the report said that the female security guard allowed a male to come on stage. Now, what I would like to know, is that just factual? Or did the male overpower the security guard, the female security guard, to get on stage? You know, because I think that would make a difference in the case. Because I'm trying to figure out, if you're a security guard, why would you let anybody on stage willingly, right? Without Nikki's permission. And so, Nikki had every right to be upset if the reports are true that this female security guard allowed a male to come on stage, right? She had the right to be irate about that situation because anything could have took place. Now, if Kenneth Petty, right, you know, actually stepped to the security guard, the male security guard, and handled his business right then and there, then I would have to say that's fair game. He has to protect his wife, right? Now, there's consequences that comes with that, you know, especially being a celebrity, you know, you're going to get sued, you know, nine times out of ten. But see, where Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj messed up at is that they called the security guard back to the room after everything was over. And this is where the security guard has a legit claim, right? Because actually you brought him back to the room to discuss, you know, whatever transpired. And then Kenneth Petty did whatever he did, you know, within that situation, right? So this is where the security guard has a strong case against Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty because it seems like it was a setup and it also seems that it was premeditated. You know what I'm saying? And listen, it doesn't matter when and where Kenneth Petty may have put pause on this security guard. It's still, you know, a threat for Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty to be sued. But the fact that you called him back to the room. I'm pretty sure a judge would say, well, all of this could have been avoided. You didn't have to call him back. You should have just let it go. Now, I'm speaking from the standpoint, if all of this is true, we're going to say that this is alleged, but this is what the security guard is saying. But anyway, I'm going to let this go right here and let y'all have that in the comments. Drop down and let me know what you think about this whole entire video, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.